Hey, it's Jessica Namasa, and that's Matthew Holt, and he's such a jerk. He's making me do this episode before I go on my vacation to Costa Rica. I am literally at the airport. At the airport. But, 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 yes, I may be a jerk, but you're going to go on vacation? Mm hmm For the first time in years. What are you doing in Costa Rica, Jess? Uh, Pilates and drinking. <laughs> a Pilates drinking retreat. You're going to drink during Pilates or Pilates to work? Anyway, we have time for this. We don't have time Let's because do I have to board my flight. All right, it's this episode of Health in 2.00 from the airport. All right, Matthew, do you have your timer ready? We are in a rush, so the timer is ready. Okay, here we go. You ready? Gone. All right. Redox raises thirty-three million. Good. Is this the end of interoperability issues? Uh, uh, pff, there are all kinds of interoperability companies coming out of the woodwork. I've heard about Redox. I can no longer give them the, the, the crappy line they don't understand about how could you give Hidaku Arabi twelve million dollars or is it eleven million from Seinfeld? Because now they're thirty-three and they're real. They're building a big network. Bunch of other people are thinking about messing around this interoperability space. It's still going on. We have a really big problem communicating back and forth between different networks. Oh, and the one big network this week, you're not asking me about, the one big network that has everybody on it and has interoperability because it's only one network, SureScripts, is getting clanged by the FTC this week. Move oh, speaking, speaking of clanging, the FBI are raiding you biome as we speak and our own personal <laughs> good fellows here. <laughs> so, what yes, Chrissy Farr just broke this one. Apparently, they, uh, or the FBI are in the office because Anthem complained that you biome has been billing them twice using the same sample and then doing two different tests and billing them twice or something. And, uh, you know, they seem to be in a whole lot of shit. Oh, my God. It's like Henry Hill. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who's Henry Hill? He was At least the they used the shit joke. Oh, my God. Seriously. Okay. Everly Well raises $50 million. Oh, yeah. Julian's thing that Everly Well doing real. This is home testing. You know, I know that Theranos is not the answer, but I actually even got my own home test kick. That I was said not Everly Well, but sent home for a stool sample by my doctor Ooh. because I'm an old man and need a colostomy. So it's all going to be the range to home testing. Everly Well has got a whole bunch of that stuff. Interesting company. I probably should have invested. I had a chance. I didn't do it. Ah, uh, why? Okay, how about Roe? They raised another $85 million a year after raising $88 million. So this is nuts. This is a is very it? small slice of the telemedicine market, unlike the big guys like American Well and the rest doing. Uh, and, you know, for people with floppy problems and hair problems. Yeah, I'm the target customer, basically. Um, very small, interesting company, the way they're doing it. <laughs> Massive DDC play, huge arms race between them and him's, hers, and a bunch of others. So uh, that's where the money goes, quickly. What about Aravel shutting down? All right, we're off, the alarm's going, two minutes is done. I asked. Aravali, Aravali, whatever they're called. Uh, very sad, this was, there was a company called Wellness FX, so everyone, I think, had raised, oh, God, a whole bunch of people got fired immediately. It was one of these things, I think they'd raised, you know, about, oh, God knows how much, 34, whatever. What happens, though, is that there's, when you're trying to do complex stuff around genomics, genetics, security with health, whatever, and asking consumers to pay, that is a big, big lift, and they couldn't, they literally, their press release said, we were spending money faster than we were getting revenue. Stop. I can't believe it. Big, big round, big shutdowns, and then an FBI raid to boot. Things are getting so exciting. It's all so exciting. exciting. It's, it's such an exciting, exciting time. Exciting. You should probably run away and go on vacation. It's the perfect time for me to board a plane and leave. <laughs> we'll never see you again, Jessica. You'll be Maybe, in the hoochie well, woods of Costa Rica on the seriously, beach. Seriously, well, how can I get implicated in this U biome thing if I'm not here? Eh? Eh? Ah, oh ah, yeah, we're getting out of town just in time. Just in time. Getting out. It's, well, if you guys have any questions for us or if you want to say hello while I'm on vacation, be sure to tweet at me. I'm at Just Tomasa. Or in my absence, you can, of course, engage with this guy. He's at Bolty Boy on Twitter. And if you've missed an episode and want to catch up, please check us out on YouTube. We are at Health in 2.0. Or you can subscribe to the Healthcare Blogs e-newsletter and not only get these episodes delivered to your inbox, but also some other great articles from the Healthcare Blog um, to go along with them. Matthew? I'll see you yeah. when I get back. <laughs> if you ever come back, Jess, looking forward to seeing you. Have fun in that Pilates stretching Costa Rican rainforest beach. Commune with the dolphins, enjoy yourselves, and we'll see you if you ever make it back.
Thank you. I'm going to come back thin, tanned, and very relaxed. <laughs> Isn't that what you like all the time? Aw, you're sweet. Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. I got to board my flight. Bye. Bye. <laughs>